morning guys good morning it is 5 30 and um i'm awake i've changed my life right now i wake up at 5 30. i've got a class at 10. actually i've got a full day so i just decided let me just vlog what i'm doing today hey i'm gonna do my devotion my skin looks so pale i just woke up i'm gonna do my devotion and read fashion news you know the drill you know the drill and then i'm gonna do some research and do a bit of reading on what we're doing in class today so i'm not completely lost and yeah i'll start getting ready from like from like 7 30. Right, so my day started off at 5.30 and for like the past few months, I've been trying my possible best to wake up before 6. My ultimate goal is to wake up at 5 a.m. but then now I'm on 5.30 so slow progress but it's still progress. It's gotten a lot easier to wake up because the sun rises so much earlier now and yeah, it just makes things easy. I usually start my day off by doing my devotion. And I pray for a bit. Right after that, I go into fashion news. So really and truly, I'm just waking up early just to stay in my bed. And I feel like that's bad. I want to reach the point where it's 5 a.m. Crying on the dots. I stand up and I'm, and I'm busy and I'm doing work and I'm being productive. But then this, I, I can do with this for now. At least I wake up and I do stuff even though I'm still in my bed. It still counts as doing stuff. I'm just not active until like after 8 my first class was design cultures and that's like fashion history, influences, blah, blah, blah. We were going to look at 18th century fashion. So I just decided to research, take some notes and just, just get ready for the class really. Just, you know, just get up for the class. Yeah. Mm. Right. So that's done and not done, but it's eight, five. And then you saw, hey. I need to start getting ready for uni because the class is at 10. I need to get in a, in a vibe and a zone. I'm going to have breakfast because now I eat breakfast. I'm a serious person. I'm going to be in uni from 10 to 6. It's going to be a long, long, long day. But I'll make it happen. Alexa, play Declan Rice. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to lay my bed first. All right, so at the moment I drink collagen, greens, and what is going on outside? Really? Really? I drink collagen greens and L carnitine, carnitine, L carna what? I drink that every morning and before bed. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do breakfast because now I've changed. I, I eat breakfast. I'm trying to get my protein up, you know. I'm trying to get thick. I'm trying to get nice and thick. I'm just gonna time lapse it because I can't really be talking. I've got class, so I need to be speedy. Speedy Darlington. You know what I'm saying? Aside juicing, I've made some positive lifestyle changes. I feel like I have to dedicate a whole video just talking about these things. I've started drinking greens daily and it's been good for me because <laughs> I don't like vegetables. Like, I cannot eat a salad to save my life. Don't say I'm a child, but I've been trying small, small. Right now, I can eat a few things. I wouldn't necessarily say I found a shortcut around it, but then I put like vegetables in my juice like celery, spinach, kale, cucumber. And I've been drinking my complete greens from bulk every day. So until I can actually chew vegetable, I would have to manage with this. Alright, so um this is what I've got for breakfast. Bagel, eggs and sausage. And then my greens. This is it. Right, so I'm quickly gonna wash my face and get in the shower. And yeah, I'm just gonna time lapse this because I don't even have anything to say. Just watch me get early. 
I feel like I've done so many get ready with me videos that you guys already know my routine, you know what I do, so I'll not even talk. <laughs> I'll not talk again. <laughs> Ew. I'm gonna quickly get in the bath now, you know the vibe. You're gonna see that part. You can only do what? <laughs> I'm editing this video right now and there's this long silence gap so I've decided to come and talk because why why uh, maybe I should just keep quiet <laughs> no I'll talk I'll not let my English hold me back so yeah how's everybody doing how's life been for everyone guys cuz I've not been struggling but I've been struggling uni is a lot better now it's not as demanding as before right now we're not really sewing anything so i've not been so occupied that i cannot breathe we've just been doing computer stuff like cad cloth 3d blah 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 and we finally started having lectures they're not the most exciting lectures but i'm surviving how about you guys how are you guys doing tell me in the comments all right so i finished getting ready and i had to you know i had to stop recording because my phone is gonna die well, I'm done now. I'm done, you know. Ready to go to uni. It's not too cold outside, so I'm wearing this. This thing. This thing is lace. It's lace. And I'm going to regret wearing it if it gets colder. But then I'm going to have my breakfast. I'm here with Monique, Bettina, Kwashiga. Let me talk now. Yeah. I'm going to have breakfast and then try and leave at... 9.45. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.22 a.m. All right, so I've got quite some time. I'm going to leave at 45. I'm going to sit down and eat breakfast. I need to put my phone in charge, so I'm just going to stop recording. You don't need to watch me eat. All right, guys, I'm going to leave now. It's um, 9.40, and yeah, it shouldn't take me too long to get to uni. Outfit check. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Story of a man, black boy trying to get the bag. The city hard, but he withstands. To him, every nigga is a mismatch. The black baller with wrong facts. A nigga who can always look down. I came ready with a full stash. Let me be a plug to be you with no grabs. What would be? Yep. Guys, we just finished our first class and we've got an hour before the next one. So, wait in. Oh. Our first class was just an hour long. We were done at 11 and our next one was at 12. So, we had an hour break. And I just used that hour to touch up on my CV again. <laughs> After the class, I decided to go and have a look at the final year's exhibition. It was a collaboration between the fashion design students and the fashion styling students. Everything looked amazing. They did such a great job. Oh, looks like a shrine. I'm not even gonna talk too much. Everything looked great. They did such a good job and all the setups looked completely different from each other. They all had their distinct looks and it was exciting to see the different aesthetics side to side and how well they go together and how they contrast and clash. Look at me sounding like like I'm sounding like John Galliano. Amaliano, you know what I'm saying? This setup was so cool. Like, it was, ugh. The detail that went into that dress, that person did not sleep at all. And the setup was just giving me CDG vibes. Like, it was so exciting to look at. They did so well. The way everything was set up looked so intentional and well thought out. Like, they didn't just hang the dress down and put, my name is this and this is my dress you can see the garments fused in the background it wasn't just a big white room with multiple outfits just scattered across it wasn't boring as you moved from setup to setup you could see a clear distinction in like the vibe the concept every single setup had its own identity that's what i liked about it it wasn't the same kind of thing 
I absolutely loved how they displayed their things. Like some stuff hanging from the ceiling, some of the stuff were pinned on the walls, some pieces had flowers shooting out of them. Like it was so good to see. And the props work so well with the pieces. Like it set the whole vibe. They understood the assignments. They really did well to convey the concepts behind each of the pieces. And I feel like the photographs, the models, the styling, everything works so well and that's that's just basically what a good collaboration is it was it was fantastic i felt really inspired and i can't wait to do mine when i reach third year all right guys i'm back home my next class is at four four to six anyway i want to think of something to, to do guys I'm gonna take a nap because why not? I'm gonna take a nap because my eyes are closing and I will go for the class at four. I just woke up from my nap and um, my next class is professional studies and we're doing like CV writing, so I'm gonna touch up my CV. Guys, it's currently going on 3:30 and I just got changed because I Alexa. Pause. I just got changed because I figured it would be a smarter option to go to my last class in gym clothes and just go to the gym straight away, like right after the class. Because if I come home, I'll not go again. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go in gym clothes, and guess what? It just started raining, and it's not any small rain, like giddy giddy rain. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign because rain makes me fall asleep. I've got 30 minutes. I can do this. Coco. I made it guys, I'm a serious student, I don't skip classes, you know, yeah, I made it. <laughs> Come and do it again. Come on, just... I know, girl. <laughs> you guys, I was just about to leave for gym, but then it's raining, like it's pouring, like, I don't want to walk in that. I honestly don't want to walk in that so we're just gonna wait for it to stop and i might just go home what is on my lip okay it's fine i might just go home and then go to the gym in the morning so hey, we can finish this vlog in the morning but let's see how it goes let's see how it goes So we got to the gym at like quarter past seven and that is like peak time so the main gym was full of people so I went straight to the ladies section with Kim and it was a leg day like a full leg day but then I really only focused on quads and glutes. I started off with some dynamic stretches which I forgot to record and then I went straight into leg extensions. I did four sets of 12 and two sets as many reps as possible. Then I did some goblet squats, which made my legs burn. Like my legs were burning at this point. Like I was on fire. I did four sets of 12 again and then two sets as many reps as possible. That's what I did for all the workouts. So I'm going to stop saying this. Just know that I did that. Then I had to do sumo squats and I was doing them with a kettlebell. So it kept hitting the ground and it was annoying me. So, so I had to try and add some extra height. I ended up standing on these platform benches, whatever they're called. And yo, my legs were burning. <laughs> like My legs were burning. I don't even know how else to say it. After that, I did leg press four sets of 12 two sets as many reps as possible and by this point i felt so numb like i had to beg kim to come and move my legs off the machine because i was i just wasn't moving i took like a five minute break before getting back to the workout and i finished off with hip thrusts 10 reps on 20 kg 10 reps on 40 kg and two sets of 10 on 60 kg and that was it for me i had had enough the bar itself is like 13 kg so if you do the mathematics and add one and two really and truly i was thrusting like 70 kg bro 
that's that's higher than my weight i'm trying to hit 100 in the next few months though my legs were burning and i just wanted to go home and sleep like i was actually sweating and everything it was too much all right guys um, we just finished at the gym and my friend is literally gonna die so i stopped vlogging even i wasn't even vlogging i was just taking tiktok videos but then i'll do a split screen and put them all in i'm heading home now and that's kim behind me was it a good sesh <laughs> the auntie good sesh or no yeah good sesh good sesh my legs are literally burning like burning when i tell you that burning they're burning bro nyash loaded building my nyash 101 I'm fresh out the shower. I'm going straight into bed. Actually, I'm gonna eat something first because I'm actually starving. I keep forgetting to eat. This is bad. <laughs> I keep forgetting to eat. I'm gonna have a burrito and then I'm gonna go straight to bed because I am tired. Like I am exhausted. So that's basically the end of this vlog. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And my skin is dry, but I'm still fresh. Oh man. Anyway, what was I saying? like comment and subscribe and tell me what videos you want to see because i'm running out of ideas see you in the next video